Huron, and I manage the product and development teams here at SAS Alerts. And I'm excited to give you a quick tour of the new SAS Alerts account management feature. So after hundreds of meetings with MSPs, we noticed a pattern where old accounts would linger and pose real threats to our partners and their respective customers. And so we developed the account management feature to help our partners secure their organizations, their customers. Um, and this feature is intended to identify old accounts, guest accounts, and accounts that have never been signed into, basically accounts that don't really serve a purpose and are still sort of lingering. And so by blocking and deleting them, we are taking these potential threats off the table. So this is going to be a two-part series where in the sh first part, I'll show you how to do some simple analysis. And in the second part, I'll show you how to block the accounts. So let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have access to respond. So the way that you do that is by going to respond right here. If you don't see respond, you wanna make sure that you are a SAS Alerts MSP admin and have MFA enabled. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your target organizations are connected. And you do that by going to manage connections, where you see all of your organizations. And in my case, I'm going to be using new org test and Beck Samson. And as you can see, they're both active. So that is good to go. The other thing before we dive in here is that by default, blocking an account sign-in is actually a medium level alert, and that's fine, but because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these, I wanna make sure that it's set to low so that I don't create a PSI ticket or emails and really lower the noise here temporarily while I do my initial cleanup. So I have done this, and now I am going to head over to the organization screen. And from here, you'll notice a new tab called account management. So in account management, you can optionally select an organization. So in my case, I'll select new org test. And first I want to see all guest accounts. So you'll see that the billing exception filter has guest account, but I have this last sign in. I'm going to get rid of this just by disabling it and then list all accounts. So this is showing me all guest accounts for this organization. So I see that these five down here were signed into a couple days ago, so I'm not going to touch those, but Cool Deep's account here has never been signed in. So this is a great candidate for an account to block sign in for, or just to totally delete. And if I want to, I can just select it and I can say block sign in or delete the account. I'll do that in the second video. So the other bit of analysis that I can do is I want to actually see all accounts that have never been signed into a period. So maybe a customer asked me to add a bunch of new employees and maybe some of them didn't work out and then my customer forgot to let me know that that's the case. So I'll remove the billing exception filter. I'll then go ahead and apply the never filter and then tell it to list the accounts. So these are the accounts that have never been signed into, right? So these two here, pending deletion, these are were deleted a couple days ago. So let's get rid of anything that's yes. So these are all accounts that have never been signed into, total of nine. So if I just select all, I could just press click and I would sign all of these accounts out. I would, excuse me, block all of these accounts. So, that's a quick overview of how to analyze the information in the account management table. In the next video, I am going to block over 600 accounts. So stay tuned. Thank you.